Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dev Diary, where today, there's no way around it. We've got a problem that needs solving. So before we get into things, remember to leave a like if you enjoyed today's video, and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and also remember to turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos. So fair warning, today's video is going to be a bit different from the norm, and is actually a follow-up to a previous video, which I highly recommend you watch first to get caught up. A link is in the description, but just so everyone is up to speed, in that previous video, video I attempted to clone one of the many uh, alchemy style mobile games and while majority of it worked as it should, the overlooked aspect of duplicates and queue order were issues that forced us to use a uh, less than appealing alternative method to make things work. And ever since, I have been somewhat obsessed with figuring this out. Like, like seriously, I'd think about it in the shower, before going to bed, while working on other dev diary projects, and even during the editing of the previous video. And as I stated last time, I just knew that the mechanic involved filtering. I just had to figure out how. And I can now see that not only was I right, but I also figured it out. Now, in order to properly explain the process, it's story time, and yes, it'll get a bit technical. So grab a snack, sit back, and let's get into it. And you can tell things have been updated because the visuals were given a new color scheme. But with that out of the way, let's talk about the check system from last time. Now again, if you want more details on the system, I highly recommend watching the previous video. All the code still works the same, except the check system was completely rewritten. But this time with the idea of dynamic queues in mind, including duplicates. And trust when I say, it gets confusing really quickly. First, we do a general check for each queued item. And using the master list, a new list is populated of all potential matches that require that queued item. So for example, steam and lava would be added to the list of potential fire matches. This is phase one of the filtering process. Now, once the list has been populated, it is stored in a temporary array for the next phase. Phase two takes all those new lists that were just created and compares everything. I'm talking each entry is compared with each other entry in every single list. And logically speaking, this should result in only one outcome, which is the match that we're looking for. For example, fire and water will populate vastly different lists of potential matches. However, when compared, the only result that should be shared amongst the lists is that for Steam, making that the outcome that we push to phase three. And phase three itself is simply the action phase from the previous video in which we display the results on screen. Now, believe it or not, that was simply only half the battle. When it came to duplicates, a completely new check had to be added specifically for this potential event. So when the two queued items are the same, we'd again run it through the master list. Only this time we check for that one single entry in the entire list that requires this particular duplicate match. Once that outcome is found, it's then sent to phase three to finish out the event. And so while it may be or hopefully sound like a simple logical solution, this was an absolute nightmare to write into a logical sequence of events. Mostly because this is literally checking lists within lists within lists within lists. I mean, the checks went so deep that I had to start over at least five times due to not being able to like, keep track of just how deep the lists were going. Now, while I would love to take another victory lap at being able to figure this thing out, I do have a confession to make. This system only works 99% of the time. See, for some reason, likely due to a crossed wire somewhere in the lists upon lists, if certain cues are likely done in a certain order, they are ignored or returned as incorrect matches. But the twist is that this does not apply to all potential matches. Some work just fine while others Others just do not, and there doesn't seem to be any kind of pattern as to why this happens. And to be honest, the, the system at this point is so deep that I couldn't even begin to imagine where the issue may lie. But if I had to guess, I may have been onto a more simple approach that was discovered while working on the duplicates event. And that may be the answer to the problem. But to be honest, my brain was just absolutely fried by this point, and the simple relief of just proving that this could be done through filters. Look, I'm just, I'm just gonna tap out while I'm ahead. <laughs> so yeah, full transparency, I immediately started working on this after finishing the edit of the previous video because it was such a legitimate distraction that it was like impossible 
to enjoy doing anything else. It was like having a tune stuck in your head, but not being able to like name the actual song. And so that, you know, that's my way of saying that I have no idea at this time that I'm recording if anyone has actually provided a more simple approach to this concept. And it honestly wouldn't be surprising to learn that this was a severely overthought. So I guess this is where I turn things over to you, even if it's possibly a repeat of last time. How would you approach the mechanic for this system? And heck, you know what, in general, what's the last thing that you worked on that got you thinking about it when you weren't even working on it? I'd love to hear your thoughts and ideas, so be sure to leave them in the comments. And finally, if you enjoy what I do here, supporting me on Patreon not only helps me keep doing it, but also gets you some great exclusives, including exclusive behind the scenes and progress posts, game downloads, and even early access access to Dev Diary videos before they're released on YouTube. Yeah. But with that said, it brings us to the end of today's somewhat different Dev Diary. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.